choosing a certification is the first step in a line of requirements that will need to be completed to become a referee in North Carolina. Due to our labor laws in North Carolina, all referees must be 14 years old to work. Individuals may complete the online registration and complete all the online coursework within three months prior to their 14th birthday. Completion of the registration and online requirements may mark the official eligible to work, but they cannot step onto the field until their 14th birthday. This law includes all certified out-of-state referees that wish to work inside North Carolina. To register as a North Carolina official, you must first determine which referee certification and referee grade you qualify for. This is defined by your experience and your age. If you have never been certified as a United States Soccer Federation referee before, you would be considered a certifying referee or an entry-level referee. Your age determines which referee grade level you will choose. If you are between the ages of 14 and 17 years old, you would be considered a grade 8 youth referee. If you are 18 years old and older, you would be considered a grade 7 adult referee. Based on these options, you will need to begin by clicking either the grade 8 entry-level youth referee registration or the grade 7 entry-level adult referee registration. Please review the instructions on each page. Include your personal account information for each step and your payment information and submit it. Please also agree to consent towards each section of the background check form. Background checks will be completed for all persons 18 years old and older. It is needed to ensure that all persons involved with youth and adult soccer in North Carolina are safe. Once all steps of the registration have been completed, they will be marked with a green check mark. It's very important that all steps are completed as the Arbiter Sports System may not correctly process your account records. After registering, accessing the online requirements can be found by logging into Arbiter Sports using your email address and password. Click on the USSF North Carolina Central Hub. Click on the Eligibility tab and then scroll down to the grade you want to complete. Clicking on the grade will drop a list of requirements that will need to be completed. These requirements can be completed at your own pace and they do not need to be completed in any particular order. However, we recommend the courses be completed prior to attempting the test. Each course will require you to view videos and slides pertaining to particular laws or rules of the game. Each course relies on your internet browsers, cookies and cache to keep track of where you are in the course, so be sure those are enabled in your browser. Should you pause during the course for a time limit of no longer than 55 minutes, the course will keep track of your progress. You can then resume or restart the course. You must listen and view all slides and videos in order to successfully complete a course. Once you have successfully completed a course, the screen will display completion criteria has been met and an email with a completion certificate will be mailed to your email address. The eligibility center will also check off that requirement with a green check. Please note the system may not immediately display the green check after successfully completing a course. Once all grade requirements have been met, the system will now reward you with an eligibility icon on your personal profile. This icon is important as not only does it help determine your readiness to referee, it also allows assigners to provide you with games. If you do not have an icon on your profile, you cannot be assigned a game. The NCSRA office will mail you a USSF badge via the US Postal Service. NCSRA will also upload your records to the U.S. Soccer National Database. Once you have been uploaded, U.S. Soccer will provide you with a U.S. Soccer identification number. This number will be your personal certification number. Completion of the registration, online training courses and test will certify you as a referee. Certification is limited to one calendar year. 
January to December. In order to be able to referee the next following year, individuals will need to recertify by registering and completing their grade requirements. If you have any questions or issues with registering and completing your certification requirements, please contact the NCSRA office.